So I got here a 2015 Honda Odyssey and uh, today what I'm going to do is install a VCM muzzler. So I have this uh, kit here that uh, it's a manual VCM muzzler and I ordered it off of Amazon um, just because if it, um, it's a pretty simple device actually just using some resistors to lower the uh, engine temperature sensor and uh, it's returnable right on Amazon so anyways uh, so you got some zip ties here and this one is actually a little bit better than the others because instead of physically putting these resistors pulling these resistors in and out of a connection it does come with these extra resistors I guess if you're if your resistors blow and you're good at soldering, you can replace them. But basically this is it. And so these are the, uh, the female connector, the male connector. And this, this is why I chose this one. It was about $7 more than the others. But if you look in this little case, or oh, I had it upside down. But if you look in this little case, it has a uh, printed circuit board with the resistors already in line there and you can just turn on each of these resistors using these little taps and so it's a basic item but I think it'll work and it'll be a lot easier to manually adjust it so and you can even see it's printed here 68 so 68 ohms 82 ohms 100 ohms and 120 ohms the way that works is that it increases the resistor of to the uh, the resistance to the ECT. So, for example, if it's really hot outside, you would want to lower the in the engine temperature reading by more. So, you would choose 120 or 100, for example. If it's really cold outside, you wouldn't want to reduce the engine temperature reading by much. So, you might choose 82 or 68. Um, it also depends on your driving uh, habits. So, that's a look at that. So what I'll do first before even installing it is I'll just uh, I'll flip on the 82 uh, resistor, the 82 ohms resistor, so that um, because they say that to try that one first. So as you can see, the uh, 82 ohms resistor number two is on. All right. So now we um, have to locate the ECT uh, one sensor. By the way, ECT stands for Engine Coolant Temperature. And so, if you look right there, that, this, this wire there, that leads to the ECT1 connector. So, if you take a look at the engine bay, so, you'll see here it says VCM. So, your Honda, if it has VCM, it'll have VCM on it. The instructions say to take off the engine cover, but actually, I think I can reach down here without taking off the engine cover, so that saves a lot of time. But the uh, ECT1 sensor is, if you look on the right, or the driver's side of the cover, and then down in here, beside this fuse box, down in there, and look, look at this, this is a landmark, this is uh, the throttle body. So where the air comes in, throttle body, and then the, uh, the tab is down there. So we have a little better view of the uh, connector for the ECT1 sensor that we need to take Decided off. I decided to take off the engine cover just to give myself a little more room. So there's two screw holes or finger holes there. Loose and loose and let's see. Okay, it comes up just like that. Two, only two things holding it on. Just that and that. I use the screwdriver and there's the engine. Now, I have a little bit more room to work there. Okay, I got the ECT1 connector off, as you can see. Um, actually, I didn't really need the room to take the... We didn't need, I didn't need to take the engine cover off. It's just that I didn't understand what I had to press in order to release the connector so actually you press back here you press at the back right there where my thumbnail is 
and then you see the front part comes up and then you can just wiggle it off very simple all right so i have the vcm muzzler here i'm going to first connect it to this sensor yeah see how it is so vcm muzzler this is on the car so it just plugs right in oh not that way this way okay it can only go one way so I'll plug it in like that and listen for the click okay that's in then I just take this and I plug it in down there down there to the this is gonna be a little tricky but plug it in down there to the existing ECT one and get it in there like all right it's on top now press it down and you'll hear a click there it's basically done now I just got to find a way to tidy this up make it look neat make sure this doesn't touch any hot engine parts so with the uh, engine cover back on this is how it looks now let's start up the uh, let's start up the car and see if everything is okay or if any dash lights comes on so all right okay so all looking good so the final setup of the vcm muzzler is uh, i put electrical tape around where the little box is that holds the pcb and resistors and as you can see there's some um, there's there are zip ties so one on the right side one on the left side just to hold that up there this will just hang freely in the air should be okay as you can see the engine temperature is a tad lower than normal and this is after 20 minutes of driving